What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you'll find me for the first time, I'm both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. In this particular video, it's a roundup of all the bits I picked up on Sunday. Yes, obviously it's the same day as yesterday's video for, for me, but for you guys, it's a different day. So I'm going to flip you guys around. There's a hell of a lot of stuff. I might unbox some of it. Um, so bearing in mind, this one is probably going to be a long video. There's a lot of gear, a lot of good stuff as well. So yeah, let's go and have a look. So welcome to my front room. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of boxed PC games. I paid 50 quid for a lot, which was just under a pound a piece. So chances are I'll probably end up doing most of this on an auction. I actually put some up yesterday, uh, yesterday being Sunday. So let's have a look at what we got. So we've got Red Alert, The Aftermath. We have Red Alert, which is an amazing game. Counter Action. Duke Nukem 3D, which... Look at all of that loveliness inside. It's missing its manual, I think. I presume it's supposed to have a manual in there. Yeah, it doesn't have one. Which sucks. But there's also like um, a new kit. Over 3,000 new levels unlocked uh, for Duke Nukem 3D, which is, I don't know if that's official or not, but yeah, that's cool. There's actually quite a few little games in here, which um, I've actually put some on online, which I, uh, I don't know, I want to see how they go. Here we have James Bond at 007, the ultimate dossier. Ignition. We also have Hive, the Hive, sorry, which looks cool. Actually, it's, it's like Beast Wars type um, graphics. This looks good, actually. Uh, wall to wall superhero action at a special price. Hot new arcade action games. We have They Call Me the Skull, and we also have The Suit, which is cool. We have, is this, oh, this is Ecstatica, Argentum Collection. Next up we have, is that all damage? Oh, it is. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Terreri, oh, I can't read that. T-E-L-L, -L, Tellurian. Stupid name for a game. Right, next up is... Power play, uh, yeah, give it a go. And we also have Gate World, we also have XS. I got really excited when I first saw this because I thought it said SSX, it obviously doesn't. I, I looked at it too quickly and uh, I misjudged. We have Dark Vengeance again, that looks really cool with like an embossed front, yeah, really, really nice. I like that. I thought this would be worth more money, and it is Dungeons and Dragons Iron and Blood. Although saying that, I haven't found this exact copy, but I've found other advanced Dungeons and Dragons stuff. So, yeah, that's interesting. We also have Simon 2, the Sorcerer. So, again, I've got no idea what these are worth yet. Um, I initially thought it's going to be all the, um, the well known games which would be worth the money, but Rob was saying no, it's going to be the ones that were not produced in like halls and halls and, and yeah so this is nice as well that's sealed in there which is cool all right and then we also have last of this crate is terminator 2 judgment day unfortunately it does not include the free t-shirt so there we go that is that's one crate that's that's just one so how many we've we got in here one two three four Five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, that's eighteen. That's okay. That's a lot. There's all my mask stuff up there as well, which I'm still going through. I had this as a child, which was really cool. It's a shame the box is so beaten up. Otherwise, I think I would keep it. But this would be a cartoon maker, which features Spider-Man. Spider-Man from uh, the, is it Fox Kids show? 
So we've got Craven, King Bin, King Pin, sorry, Hobgoblin, Green Goblin, Doctor Octopus, Vulture, Venom, Shocker, Scorpion, Rhino, Mysterio, and Lizard. Absolutely brilliant. That is so nostalgic. I I would love to get one of these in better condition, and I think I would end up keeping that for myself. So this is game number 19, if I can get it in there. Let's do it off camera. Right. Aha, Conan. I thought this might be worth a few good as well. Conan, the Sumerian. What was it when it first came out? Does it say a price on there? It doesn't, does it? 1991. I bet that makes a lot of you feel quite old. Uh, so what's that? Number 20. Number 21 is a sealed copy of Civilization Call to Power. Uh, this I've already put online along with, I believe I put up Street Fighter 2, which again looks absolutely amazing. It's such a shame about that damage just there. But that comes absolutely complete. I'm going to show you guys now, actually. Uh, come on. So we have the CD-ROM. Look, there we go. Look at that manual. It's a shame it's not in colour because that would look amazing. Uh, so next up, I've lost count. Uh, we've got a portable box for CDs. I I took this out of the box and said I really don't want it. He said no, take it, and he put it back in the box. And I took it back out of the box. He said no, I really don't want it. Please sell it separately. He said I really don't want it, and he put it back in the box again. So. That's probably going to go to the charity shop when I, I next go over there. We also have Battle Zone, which doesn't look anything like I thought it would. I'm trying to think of the game that I used to play, um, which was looked similar to that on the front anyway. Uh, we have Comic Strip by Data Becker. Can't say I've ever heard of that. We also have Malice. 23rd century older conversion for Quake. Oh! 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 I know someone who might be interested in that. That's really, really cool. We have a sealed copy of Music Mentor Recording Session. Um, I doubt it's worth anything, but it's brand new and sealed. Uh, probably from the very early 90s. Uh, 1991, 92. Next up is Eagle Eye Mysteries, the original. Is this going to be like the games that went mad for a while on um, on Android and, and iOS? We have Dogs, Your Computer Pet. That is terrifying. Um, next up is, oh, another game which I thought might be quite good, is Robocop 3. Which, let's have a little look. Which looks really cool. Look at that. Look at that. That is so 90s. It's been propped open at some stage. Is that just a halfway point? It's the uh, joystick. That's not even in English. What? That section, anyway. So, yeah, that's cool. Simpler times, eh? Um, we have Starfighter 3000. I think this is another one which we think may be worth a few quid. So um I can't can't get it open. Can't get it open. Come on. You're embarrassing me. In front of all the people. There we go, look at that. Manual is absolutely pristine. Apart from that top edge. You disappointment, look at you. So yeah, that's really, really nice. I like that a lot. These are probably all going to be going up on seven-day auctions. Uh, I'm just going to end up doing it a couple of months because um, I don't want to like flood the market with what I've got. So we have Eagle Eye Mysteries in London, so that could potentially be bundled with the other one. FIFA Soccer, because FIFA games are everywhere. This is another potentially good one. It is Jazz Jack Rabbit, the CD-ROM. Uh, it is different. We've also got Video Jam, Lights, Camera, Action. Create animated music videos. As easy as one, two, three, ages eight and up. Brand new and sealed, which is, yeah, it's unique. There's some bits in here as well. Um, 
what's that? What is it? Shogun, Shogun. What's that come out of? Rolling demo CD, not for resale. Any ideas what this has come out of? So that's that's box number two. We've got some more over here. Uh, hang on, let's put. And we've having it eighteen. So we've got twenty. 22, 24, I've got 26, 28, I've got that 30, uh, that's listed, I'm going to keep that separate, so that's 31, that's listed as well, so that's 32, 33, 33, right. Close combat, a bridge too far. It's 34. I'm going to forget the numbers again, aren't I? Juice, that looks cool. A uh, completely separate purchase. We have a, a really horrible looking uh, Monopoly Arsenal edition from 2011, I think. There's another game under there, which is FX Turbo Fighter. And there's some more Master stuff down there, which you guys saw the other day. Other games we have, I'm not going to get these out. Iron Blood, Total Mania, uh, Time Gate, Creatures, Alone in the Dark, War Gods, uh, Nickelodeon Directors Club is over there, The Blues Brothers, that's potentially a good one, uh, Gearhead, what's that, I can't read that upside down, Prehistoric, uh, Wipeout, again that's potentially a really good title, uh, and Hexen. So that's all the box games, as I say I paid 50 quid for the lot. Um, and then all we've got left is this tray of goods here. So, this is all second car boot territory now, I think. It might be mixed in. I don't know. We'll find out in a sec. So we have United States Championship belt. That was £2. The spinny WWE belt. £2. World Heavyweight Championship wrestling belt. £2. Intercontinental Heavyweight Wrestling Championship belt, two pounds. WWE Championship belt, two pounds. Oh, that came as part of um, of the games. Uh, Pokemon Blue, I paid two pound fifty. Rayman, I paid two pound fifty. I actually bought these off of the same guy who I bought the big box PC games. But oh, a little story about these. Um, same guy that I bought uh, Streets of Rage three off of the other week. So he wanted 50 quid for the games first. I asked if he'd do 40. He said, no, I can't do that. I said to him, well, you know what? One of the games you sold me last week is worth a few quid. I'll give you the full 50. Then he tried to sell me these for a pound each. I said, you know what? I can't do that either. He have a fiver. Because um, I needed that. So, yeah. That was just hopefully keeping the dealer on side, which is quite nice. We have a Brother P-Touch 2000 paid i want to say five pounds for that that sounds about right uh we have uh, some games that i've left in the car uh, games was one of the tony hawks on the gamecube and there's also an xbox game as well i'll show you that next week though so i picked up uh, that was eight pound including the gba which does work it's just missing a back so lovely Wavebird paid two pounds but has no adapter. Olympus A11 paid ten pounds. Uh, going for spares and repairs, thirty quid. I think she knew that, which is why she wanted ten pound. So that should be a nice, quick, easy flip. As I said earlier, Game of Thrones is ending for me tonight, so this will be going on line at some stage. About fifteen, twenty pounds, which is the original. Well, not the original, but it's just one of the board games. The second edition board game. Obviously not original. We have Tomb Raider Chronicles. Uh, paid £1. Croc. I paid £1. PS2 with just a power supply. I end up paying... I think I paid a tenner. Which isn't too bad. And we also have a Nintendo DS. 
which I'm not going to be able to get into now. But this is like one hell of an awesome, I can't get into it now, damn it. One sec. But that is one hell of an awesome case and I've obviously left it on from yesterday which is probably not the cleverest thing in the world to do. Where's the power button gone? It's that one over there isn't it? There we go, turned off. Uh, that was a fiver. Um, the, the case itself, I really do like the case. Might actually keep that if I can clean all this off. It looks to just be like a sticker residue or like a, a tape residue. But uh, that came with some loose games which I don't think I'm ever going to get the cases for so not particularly worried about that but yeah that is it that is the whole of Sunday car boot so there we go that is Sunday all done and dusted the only thing about bringing everything into the front room is obviously a lot of these boxes have been in people's garages for ages which means there's loads of dust and other crud inside it so there's like bits of debris everywhere fluff what is that? That's like out of a pillow or something, man. So yeah, <clears throat> I just put it in my mouth. <coughs> Did not mean to do that. Well, that makes some of you laugh. So yeah, that is Sunday done. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff. Potentially a lot of money. Um, if you think that worst case scenario, if, if the games go for like £5 a piece, that's 250 quid. If they go for ten pound a piece, it's five hundred quid. So I don't know. I'm I'm quite interested to see how it goes, but it is what it is. Uh, it's nice to get a decent sized haul. But as I say, I'm just going to trickle it out. Um, I'm not in any rush to to sell it. So seven day auctions, I think, for the next six and a half years, and I should be able to shift it all. Pokemon Blue was absolutely amazing. Really, really pleased to get that and to pay £2.50 I mean obviously a pound would have been better but I want to try and keep this guy on side so uh, hopefully if anything else comes out of his garage because he's a, a house clearance guy if anything new comes out uh, he will hopefully put it aside to me because you'll know that he'll get an extra drink out of it so we'll see how it goes but yeah that is it I've just been chatting rubbish now so uh, I suppose I should go and leave you guys alone if you want to be entered into the giveaway, just leave a comment down below. It's as simple as that. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.